How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new story. Today we got a story time of a Roblox kid who steals the subscriber's dog. It's a whole big crazy story that I know you'll enjoy, so sit back, relax, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video to claim your free nothing, and with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So this story all starts one day when the subscriber is in their local park with their dog. So the subscriber got their dog uh, pretty recently. It was kind of like a, uh, the subscriber had always wanted a dog and the parents after a long time of saying no, like you, we don't think that you're responsible enough. You don't, we don't think you can take care of it. And then one day, you know, he comes back after basically every single day begging for a dog. And yeah, sure enough, his parents have a dog there saying, you know, obviously the subscriber freaks out, super excited, whatever. And yeah, his parents are like, you know what? You know, we've been thinking about it. We think that you actually are a good fit for this. We think you can take care of the dog. So we've decided that, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to give you the dog. We're going to like, we're going to see if this is a good idea or not, basically. And we hope that we're right. Obviously, the subscriber was super excited about this. And for the last couple months, he's done an exceptionally good job, or at least according to him, who really knows. But the subscriber tells me that he was like super, super careful because he knew that, you know, you know, he wanted to make sure his parents felt like they made a good, a good decision, that they could trust him in the future, stuff along those lines. So, uh, yeah, sure enough, right, the subscriber has done a really good job taking care of the dog. And uh, this is just a very normal day. The subscriber normally will go in on the weekends and, you know, or I guess during the weekdays, maybe at night, but really especially on the weekends, he'll walk down to the local dog park and he'll take, you know, it actually, it's like, it's more than a dog park. It's like a full on park, but you know, a lot of people bring their dogs there and it's just a nice time that the subscriber and you know, his, you know, his dog, you know, spend a lot of time together. Uh, anyways, though, today was not a normal day. It started off like a normal day as all these stories do, but it did not end like a normal day because he is about to have an encounter with the Roblox kid. So this kid is known as the Roblox kid because he's just he's just kind of like notorious for playing Roblox 24/7 in class. Bro will literally be like mid-exam or something and just like pull out his like computer and start playing Roblox. He was also very very strange, very very odd. And look, I was like I think all kids are kind of weird like especially compared to like I mean if you compare them to like most people yeah kids are going to be kind of weird bro I mean you got emo kids you got werewolf kids you got Minecraft kids you got cringy you got all the stuff we cover on the channel right however the Roblox kid was this very strange compared to like everyone else bro he was on a whole new level of huh? you know what I mean so yeah sure enough right the subscriber has had a few interactions with a Roblox kid before and he hasn't like, I don't know, I, this isn't a story of like revenge where, you know, the subscriber had wronged the Roblox kid in this life or another. And the Roblox kid was going to like come, you know, I don't know, steal his dog and it's going to be a whole John Wick saga type thing. No, not like that. Uh, but anyways, though, you know, the subscriber had always been pretty nice to the Roblox kid. But uh, on this normal day, the subscriber is just walking his dog in the park. And, uh, you know, who comes along, who he crosses paths with? The Roblox kid. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with this at, at first. It's not like the subscriber's like, oh, man, I don't want to have to deal with this kid, blah, 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 all stuff like that. No, it's pretty, uh, I don't know, he just doesn't really think that much of it. Obviously, the subscriber thinks a lot more of it after the events that transpire went down. But uh, anyways, he's just walking, you know, on the path, and the Roblox kid is walking too. So uh, the subscriber and the Roblox kid make eye contact, which isn't anything weird because, you know, they do go to the same school. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's not out of the ordinary for the Roblox kid to like make eye. It's not weird for them to make eye contact is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, sure enough, the subscriber kind of makes eye contact with the Roblox kid. And the Roblox kid, you know, looks at him and then says like, nice dog. Totally valid comment. Like, who cares? In fact, I'd probably say something like that. I always am like, oh, man, I love your dog, whatever, whenever I see people with dogs. Um, so, you know, the subscriber responds, oh, like, thanks, man. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I just got him kind of recently. Um, I, I really enjoyed, you know, spending time with him. Uh, yeah. So the, the, obviously it doesn't really say that much. But anyways, right, the, uh, the Roblox kid then goes on to be like, do you mind if I have your dog? <laughs> and the subscriber's just like, uh, come again? 
I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like I would be a little bit, maybe a little more than a little bit, but at least a little bit weirded out if some kid comes up to me, says, nice dog, and then says, hey, can I have your dog? Like, would it be totally chill? Would it be totally, like, chill if I just have your dog? Like, is that okay, man? Like, like, can I just have your dog, bro? Like, can, can I just have your dog? Like, bro, what? Huh? How do we get to this point? I, I just don't understand. Like, I just don't know how I'd react. I think I'd just kind of, like, laugh and be like, ha-ha, and then quickly scoop up my dog and run the frick out of there, bro. It is definitely not safe to be there. Anyways, though, yeah, sure enough, the subscriber gives the, mo the Roblox kid a really weird look and kind of just is looking at him and is just like, what do you mean by that, buddy? And the Roblox kid is looking at the subscriber and he's just kind of like, uh, like, I, I, I like your dog. Can I have him? And it's just like weird because maybe the, maybe the first thing was just kind of a joke that was just bad, like delivery. I don't know. I feel like a lot of like, if a joke is successful or not, or taken as a joke is really just delivery, man. Like, I really think like you could have the funniest, wittiest, smartest joke, but if you deliver it terribly, Dude, it's just not going to land. But you could also have a mediocre joke, but if you have great delivery, bro, you could have the whole squad laughing. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, though, so yeah, um, after the second time of saying it with, like, a, you know, a, a, a deadpan face, the subscriber starts to realize, oh, this kid is not trolling. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. This kid is not just playing around. He actually wants to steal my dog from me. Um, so the subscriber is like, ha ha. Because like, at first the subscriber was thinking, okay, well, this is obviously a joke, or I hope it's a joke, so I'm going to respond jokingly. But now the subscriber has a sneaking suspicion that this, in fact, is not a joke. So he responds, oh, uh, ha ha, yeah, um, yeah. I'm sorry, like, you, you can't, but I, I can tell you where we got the dog. Like, I, I can tell you where you can go and get your own dog. And the Roblox kid's like, yeah, but I like your dog. And the subscriber is just so uncomfortable, just so unbelievably uncomfortable during this whole, like, altercation. I also don't blame him. I feel like I'd be super uncomfortable, too, if someone came up to me and was, like, actually being serious about wanting my dog. Like, dude... Do you not understand how weird that is? Like, you know, if pets are family members, bro, it's like someone coming up to you and be like, hey, can I have your sister? Like, can she become my sister and not yours? And just saying that with like a straight like face, like, dude, what? So yeah, sure enough, uh, th at this point, the subscriber in his head is thinking to himself, okay, this is getting really weird. Uh, this is actually really strange. Um, I think I'm just gonna like, let's, Let's get out of here as soon as possible, because, like, this is really uncomfortable, whatever. So, uh, yeah, the subscriber's like, hey, man, like, uh, I can, I, tomorrow or later in school, I can tell you about places where you can get your own dog, but right now, I think I just gotta go. Ha ha ha, so sorry. Like, I just gotta go do something. Um, you know, I'm late to my meeting. Ha ha ha. Uh, I gotta go. Bye. So the subscriber, like, starts walking away with his dog, and this is not a story where the Roblox kid, like, chases him and it's some crazy chase cutscene or whatever, no. Uh, the Roblox kid almost just kind of, like, lets him go, and the subscriber's like, okay, thank God, like, that kid was weird, bro, like, I had to deal with him, that was so strange, but all that kind of stuff, right? And so, yeah, anyways, fast forward, like, 60 minutes, like, a little bit of time goes by, and even though this was a super weird and uncomfortable interaction, the subscriber basically forgot about the whole thing. Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, you know, the subscriber walks away. And it's been about an hour since, you know, the, the, the Roblox kid has come up and been an issue. And so there's this kind of like a centralized area in the park where it's like there's a bathroom, there's a place to wash your hands. Uh, kind of like one of those type areas. So yeah, the subscriber and there's like also like a, a, a bike rack where a lot of people will because like you're not really supposed to take your dog into the bathroom or something like that. I don't totally know why. That's just what the subscriber told me. So a lot of people would just kind of like tie your dog up for a second and then come back. So the subscriber goes up to the park, um, goes up to the park. The subscriber goes up to the, uh, the bike rack, kind of like ties up his dog. So like, hey, man, I'll be back in a sec goes in for like literally less than two minutes so barely so not a lot of time at all and uh goes in and you know comes right back out 
and he sees the dog collar, he sees the dog leash, but he sees no dog. And at this point, like, you know, his heart is, it just like, it just drops. His heart drops. He's like, am I seeing things correctly? Like, oh my God. And then his heart starts to raise as kind of the reality sets in that he doesn't imagine that someone stole his dog. Like, I don't know why anyone would jump to the conclusion. Oh my God, my dog was stolen. Like, no, it's like your dog's like a sentient being. He probably was bored and decided to run somewhere. So he comes to the understandable conclusion that some that his dog probably somehow got loose and started to run away. So yeah, the subscriber is pretty scared and he immediately like, you know, starts running around just trying to find his dog. And he starts shouting out the dog name, which I don't know, we'll call him Ben. He's like, Ben, Ben. He starts like running around and, you know, just trying to figure out like what's going on, trying to figure out like where his dog's at. He starts like running up to strangers being like, have you seen a, uh, and describes the dog, whatever. And this name in the, you know, the, I don't know, all the other people are like, uh, well, maybe because I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hard because it's, it's not as if they were looking for that type of dog in the first place and they are in a dog park. So, so the subscriber is pretty worried. I mean, justifiably. I mean, look, I, I've actually never lost my dog. Like, my dog's never straight up ran away. But I've heard so many stories of dogs running away. And it's just is like the most scary. It's just like the scariest thing ever. So anyways, the, and the subscriber is just probably about like 20 minutes by now. Just have ran around half the park asking everyone, screaming out the dog's name. It's just really a tough scene. You just simply hate to see it. And when the subscriber is starting to feel like the, it's almost starting to feel like, you know, hope was starting to seep away, right? That's when the subscriber runs into the Roblox kid. And uh, in the Roblox kid's arms, because it's a small dog, by the way, this isn't some like 200 pound, I don't know, Siberian husky type dog. This is like a smaller dog. In the Roblox kid's arms, the subscriber sees his dog. So the Roblox kid and the subscriber, they make eye contact for like a second. And even though it's probably like two or three seconds, it feels like, you know, I, I don't know, it, it, it feels like a good like 20 or 30 seconds at this point. So anyways, right, sure enough, you know, the subscriber, after like a second of like realizing what's going on, darts towards the Roblox kid. But Roblox kid was low-key kind of fast. So the Roblox kid... He just, like, immediately just starts to, like, run off and run off in the other direction, and the subscriber is running on after him. So the Roblox kid and the subscriber are running after each other, and the subscriber starts shouting, like, like, give me back my dog! And the Roblox kid shouts, no, I want your dog! And the subscriber's like, dude, what? Yeah, real quick, you made this far into the video, comment Roblox down, down below. That'll be the secret word of the day. And if you've made it as far into the... Oh, I already said that. But yeah, also, if you like listening on Spotify or use Spotify, consider following the podcast uh, or my podcast, which is just these videos. First link in the description and also the only link in the pinned comment. So yeah, make sure you're following on Spotify and have comment uh, Roblox down below. And also press the like button to claim your free nothing. And with that being said, let's get right back into it. Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, the subscriber is chasing after the Roblox kid. And the whole time he's chasing after him, he's shouting, like, give me back my dog. And the Roblox kid isn't even denying it, which he will in just a second, as you'll see. But the whole time he's like, no, I want your dog. Like, I, he looks fine. Like, give it to me. Like, I'm taking him. Like, bro, you can't just go up to someone's dog and take them. Like, imagine you're just, like, chilling on the porch of your house and your dog's next to you. And then some, like, little sweaty Roblox kid comes up to you and they're like, Meh, and then it just takes your dog. Like, huh? That's just like, I, I, I think I'd probably just sit there in just pure shock for like a second because I just would not have seen that coming. I don't know about you, but on the bingo card for my afternoon would not be Roblox Kid comes up and steals my dog. Maybe you guys have different predictions for your future, but I'm definitely not seeing that in my future. I mean, I hope not. Anyways, though, so here's what happens. Eventually, there are some, like, kind of, like, park ranger, police officer, officer, guard type people. I don't know exactly who would be, like, roaming the park, but there's always at least one, sometimes two. Anyways, we're just going to call him, we're going to call him the park ranger. I don't know if it actually is, because it's not, like, a big, it's not, like, an actual national park or something. But we're just going to call him the park ranger, and you guys get a sense of who I'm talking about. So anyways, the, you know, the quote-unquote park ranger is just kind of like walking around, doing his shifts. 
And that's when he sees like the Roblox kid sprinting and the subscriber sprinting after him. And the subscriber's like, officer, officer, like, wait, well, like, like, stop, stop, stop. So the officer sees this, comes over, and is like, both of you stop right here. Because, like, sometimes it can kind of look like two kids just having fun running after each other. And why would an officer be like, no tomfoolery in this park? Only worship and study. Like, okay, bro, relax. So I, I don't think the officer would have normally stopped anyone. But when the subscriber who's chasing after the Roblox kid is, like, notioning over to, like, the officer being like, yo, like, I, I need some help here. Then he's like, all right, man, like, it seems like it's probably a bit more than just fun. So the park ranger stops both of them at this point, and the park ranger, like, they're both, like, panting, like, the dog is squirming in the Roblox kid's arms, and, you know, the officer's like, all right, I need one of you two right now to tell me what is going on. So the Roblox kid's actually, like, a little bit devious because the Roblox kid, so remember, the officer says, what's going on? So the Roblox kid immediately says, oh, like, like, I, I don't know why, but the subscriber over here, he wants to steal my dog. And he was, like, about to take my dog and just, like, yank him away and steal him from me. But I couldn't let that happen, so I picked him up and I started running. And the subscriber just has this look of, like, what? Like, complete shock. And so the subscriber's like, officer, no, like, why would I have stopped you? Okay, first of all, why would I have stopped you if I was chasing the subscriber? And the re, because the reason why I stopped you is because I'm chasing the Roblox kid. And the reason because I stopped you is because he stole my dog. So I was walking the dog earlier and he came up to me and he said, nice dog, which is totally fine. And then he said, I want your dog. I want to steal your dog. And I was so weirded out that I left. I, so uh, about an hour later, I went to the bathroom and I just, you know, put my dog out where everyone else was. So when I got out of the bathroom, you know, no one was there. And, uh, you know, I started running around looking for my dog and eventually, I see the Roblox kid and he's holding onto my dog and he runs away. And after chasing after him, I'm like, give me my dog back. And he says, no, I want your dog. And the Roblox kid is like, that is preposterous. I would never do something like that. Officer, does that story make any sense to you? And the subscriber's like, well, does the Roblox kid story make sense? And the officer's like, all right, all right now, gentlemen. Someone's telling the truth. Someone's telling the lie. But it's not super clear to me who is who. So, you know, I, I think I know how to settle this. You know, I, I have a pretty foolproof way of figuring out who this dog actually belongs to. And at this point, the subscriber is kind of getting a little bit worried because foolproof method, uh, okay, bro, but what if your method, like, messes up and then the subscriber loses his dog forever? I mean, if, I, I guess, like, the worst-case scenario, the subscriber figure out, figures out where the Roblox kid lives, brings his parents with them, and then obviously the parents would talk it out and the, the subscriber would get his dog back. But he's not even thinking about that. He's just thinking about, I could lose my dog right now. So anyways, the officer goes up to the Roblox kid and says, uh, can you give me the dog for a second, son? And so the Roblox kid extends his arms and the dog immediately like flies out of the Roblox kid's arms. If that wasn't enough right there to kind of say like, hey man, this probably isn't like his dog, then I don't know what is. But anyways... So the, you know, the officer or the, the park ranger like grabs onto the dog, looks at it and says, all right, buddy, I got a feeling you're going to run back to the person who actually is your buddy, right? And that's when the subscriber realized like, oh, like, okay, I see what he's doing. But a little bit, the subscriber was a little bit worried because look, the subscriber had spent a lot of time with his new dog, but it had also just been two months. Like, don't forget, it had also been two months, and, like, I, I don't know. The subscriber, first of all, was just a little worried. What if the dog gets confused? What if he's confused because, you know, he was just in the arms of the other kid? Like, who knows, right? But anyways, right, sure enough, you know, the subscriber is kind of just patiently sitting there, and that's when the park ranger's like, all right, I'm going to put the dog down. Park ranger puts the dog down, and immediately the dog starts sprinting towards the subscriber. The dog jumps up into the arms of the subscriber, starts relentlessly licking the subscriber's face, and the Roblox kid immediately cries foul. He's like, check his pockets, officer. He definitely has dog treats. He's definitely trying to steal my dog. And the officer's like, all right, bud, like... If this is actually, like, not true, which I'm pretty sure this is his dog, then, like, you can file, you can have your parents file an official complaint with me. Here's my card. But they must come in person. It can't just be you on the phone. And so, yeah, the Roblox kid does not call in his parents to call to file an official complaint because, uh, 
yeah, it wasn't his dog. And so the subscriber and his dog are reunited. He brings the dog back home, and his mom is, like, looking at him like, why, why do you look so flush? Because he remember he was running around. And the subscriber is like, man, do I have a story for you? If you want to support the channel, the best way you can do so is click on the video on screen right now. And if you're on Spotify, listen to another video.